Imagine four companies working together on a groundbreaking project in the luxury segment, combining superior design and smart technologies. A leading global manufacturer of crystal glass, jewelry, and accessories. A specialist in the finishing of plastic surfaces. An expert in innovative vehicle concepts. And a highly specialized manufacturer of wafer-thin, transparent touch sensors. What would be the outcome of such a project? Of course, the result would be an intelligent component for vehicle interiors, one that would allow various functions to be controlled with ease. Together, Swarovski, Leonhard Kurtz, and its subsidiaries, Berg Design and PolyIC have developed a highly innovative human-machine interface panel. Three experts who are directly involved in the project will explain exactly what this entailed. Direkt am Projekt beteiligt sind. Verena Flesser, Zauner von Burg Design, Peter Balk von Swarovski Mobility und Jörg Stierand von der Firma Kurz. Herzlich Welcome. Mr. Balk, Swarovski Mobility has been developing integrated design solutions for vehicles for several years. How did that come to pass? It's true that we're traditionally deeply rooted in the jewelry and fashion segments, but over the last 10 years, we've gained a lot of experience in the automotive sector. And how specifically are you contributing to this sector? We have observed an increasing fusion of functional and decorative aspects, which gives us a wide range of possibilities, especially in interiors, to showcase crystals in a meaningful and precise way. Could you give us a few examples? Yes, of course. In the interior in particular, we have the opportunity to create unique atmospheres through illumination and transillumination of the crystals. But that was just the beginning for us. We always knew that we needed highly competent partners for any future cooperation. And you found these partners in the Kutz group, haven't you? Yes, exactly. Leonard Kutz. Berg Design and PolyIC are absolute experts in their field, and their high level of competence within the group was absolutely crucial for us. You are emphasizing competence. Mr. Stierend, can you tell us more about this competence? Sure. In the case of this Swarovski demonstrator, the collaborative efforts of all of those involved have given rise to something completely new. The Buch and Kutz companies have contributed their decoration and backlighting processes. Poly IC has ensured that the corresponding functions behind these processes can be switched on and off. This then results in smart functionality. What exactly does smart functionality mean? Smart functionality refers to intelligent functions. In the Swarovski demonstrator, we have integrated a proximity sensor that makes the functions visible when you approach it. We've also introduced touch sensors that let you control the functions. And we've topped it all off with a shy tech design on the surface. Ms. Flebezauner, as a designer, how do you see shy tech? Shy tech gives us designers a smooth and continuous surface without keys or buttons. This means that the user interface only lights up when we approach the surface. In essence, the functions only become visible when they're actually needed. And visually, this ideally reflects the design of the component, doesn't it? It fits perfectly into the component. We've developed three different variants of the demonstrators. The first variant features a very sporty dark mode and crystals with a smoked glass look. The second one consists of light, sparkling, crystalline surfaces in light mode. And the third features an extremely luxurious lounge mode with warm copper and earth tones, as well as gold-colored crystals. Speaking of crystals, Mr. Bach, what else should we know about them? One thing is particularly important. All the crystals are produced in Austria, including those in this demonstrator. And there are other advantages to our crystals, including the fact that they're highly resistant to all environmental influences. So all the things that the crystal can be exposed to in the vehicle interior, like a little sunscreen or spilled drinks, are no problem at all. Crystals have a very scratch-resistant surface and are highly transparent as well. This, in turn, produces great brilliance and a depth effect. The second advantage can only be seen when you take a closer look at the product. The Poly-IC sensor makes it possible for the crystals to respond to touch. So, a light touch of the finger is enough to trigger a switch function. The whole thing is all the more astonishing 
because it works even with material thicknesses of up to 2.5 centimeters. And finally, I'd like to draw your attention to another advantage. At Swarovski, we've applied a special coating to these crystals, a Shitech coating, so that when you approach, you'll first think that they're mirrored crystals. Later, however, when thanks to the lighting, you'll be able to see all the pictograms. All of that sounds really future-proof. What other trends will shape the automotive industry in the coming years? For one thing, three-dimensional surfaces are becoming increasingly important. We've also applied this to the demonstrator by using print mold design to print on both sides of the surface, thereby conjuring up an extremely high-quality impression of depth in the material. Secondly, autonomous driving is becoming increasingly important. Radar permeable films. We have presented this on our demonstrator with advanced indium metallizations. And the issue of sustainability will probably also play a very important role, right? Yes, this aspect is extremely important to us. The demonstrator features high-performance surfaces that are very robust and scratch-resistant, and thus make the component very durable. Secondly, there's an opportunity to use recycled materials and thus give them a new lease of life. Our decorations can be easily recycled. This means that our decorative surfaces, including the sensors, have no negative impact on the recyclability of the materials. So, we're clearly showing that luxury and sustainability don't have to be mutually exclusive. Mr. Balk, do you have any other plans for mobility? And what role can Crystal play in this? Absolutely. We've been observing the megatrend towards autonomous driving for years. As a result, vehicle interiors of the future are becoming a kind of second living space. Crystals can take on both a functional and decorative role here. Crystal is a new and exciting material for customers. We'll be able to present different interior atmospheres in different variations especially in connection with light. We also offer crystals for exterior solutions. In doing so, we're making an important contribution to the support of future automotive design. Thank you very much for this interesting conversation. Whatever the future of mobility may bring, we can certainly look forward to the groundbreaking innovations arising from the cooperation between the Kurtz Group and Swarovski.